Another one bites the dust. I need to really clean up in here because, uh, yeah. Organized chaos. Uh, happy Friday, guys. I used yet another lunch break to do a fable test today. This one only took about 25 minutes, not bad, especially since it was on my phone, which requires more setup. I need to take this off d, &D. I'm expecting a call in a bit anyway. So if you guys didn't watch last week's vlog, which will be posted tomorrow, because editing Alicia is working on it tonight, right, right? <laughs> I have one of four streams of income, and this is one. Ever so often, if I'm quick enough, I can snatch up one of these tests, and they're a really good opportunity to get to see how different companies are trying to build off of accessibility. As a visually impaired person, it's really tricky using your phone with some apps sometimes, or websites, and this is a way to make it right, because they get information from my explanation on how to make their stuff better based off of like this shouldn't be italicized this is too great to see too small for me it doesn't pinch and zoom that type of thing so you know i'm feeling good today which is better than yesterday which is why you haven't seen me in a few days because the way life really blind has been playing me lately let's just break it down i'm gonna go to a dance class one of the girls that i met at the cnib event is a dance instructor and since carnival season is well it's pretty much here <laughs> she's hosting an event downtown which is perfect but i ended up buying two tickets i meant to buy one so much fun just like when i accidentally put two zara dresses in my cart when i'm only supposed to buy one likely you blind is so much fun then yesterday i was going to l'hôpital i'm sure that's not how you pronounce it in french the hospital to get checked up for my surgery go back a couple of vlogs if you're wondering what surgery what's going on we're not going through that again but i went there for a follow-up the actual follow-up itself was six minutes it took me three hours to get there and back and if i could drive it's 18 minutes away according to tcc it's 41 minutes away because you know public transit takes time but you know what also takes time being legally blind did i not get lost when i got off the bus <clears throat> Mind you, I've been to this hospital three or four times. <laughs> Did I not get lost in the hospital? And I asked someone for directions and they led me to the path of unrighteousness. I hate when people who can see do that to me. Not that they can tell that I'm blind and they're doing it intentionally, but like, why? Why send me down the wrong direction when I'm already half an hour late and I hate being late. I'd rather be early. You know what they say? To be early is to be on time and to be on time is to be late. Then on the way home, got on my bus, which took 20 minutes to come. Again, mind you, I'm thinking if I could drive, I'd be home by now. But whatever, this is my life. By the time the bus comes, I'm waiting for the stop. It's Mortimer at Donlins, but I thought I was on the Donlins bus and I was getting off at Mortimer. A couple minutes later, I'm like, it's only supposed to be six stops? Where's Mortimer at? Girl, you're on the Mortimer bus, supposed to be getting off at Donlins, and I was already past Pape, and if you know Toronto, Donlins in here, Pape is here. I was over here. So I had to get off the bus, wait the next 20 minutes to get the bus to go back to where I was supposed to get off, to wait another 20 minutes for that bus to come to take me to where I needed to be, which was here, to log into my work. I was not happy. I was not happy because, one, if I wasn't blind, I'd be driving around everywhere. I probably wouldn't even live in the city. Let's just be real. I need to make a sit down video about what I think life would be like if I never was diagnosed with SARS disease. One can dream, right? <laughs> then I also was like, well, get into your head. How much is this based off being visually impaired or like someone who could see would make this mistake? Because I was paying attention. I just didn't hear it being called out. And then how much is it like the man who told me to go down the wrong way in the hospital? Like blind or not, maybe I would be able to see the signs and see that it wasn't matching with his directions. But at the same time, if you're asking someone who works in the hospital, hey, I'm looking for the outpatient clinic, they should send you the right way, not the wrong way. If you're blind, I'm sure you've battled in your mind like what your life would be like or look like if you could see properly. Not my work computer turning on just randomly, not creepy at all. I don't know what that's about. I feel like there's a lot of mental gymnastics when you get diagnosed something like this that people don't talk about a lot. And I don't know if I want to make this a TikTok type of thing because I kind of like that my TikTok is not about Star Arts. The way YouTube has become, the same way my podcasts are very rarely about blindness. I like having areas of my life that are not 
heavily about my sight because I wasn't always blind and as much as it is a part of me today, it wasn't always. And I hope one day there is a cure or I can find a way to heal myself. I'm trying to get on my Dr. Sabi-ish. <laughs> this should be an interesting weekend. I'm supposed to go to this thing called a Hidden Fet. So when you sign up, they give you the address for the day party. If we do go tomorrow, that is. It's a nice day, so I'll probably just bum it at the pool for a little bit. And da -da 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 -da. Sunday. Ooh, volunteering. I haven't been to Elevation Church this entire year, which is really bad. It's like I got baptized and I flew out of there. No, I went a couple times after I got baptized, and I went a lot before then too. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna bring you guys along. I think we're doing the same thing we did last year. And that's that for the weekend. So this serves as the intro, because you know me, once I get going, I kind of forget to introduce you to the day and what we're getting into. I'm trying to get better at that as a vlogger, but I'm just so used to showing you things. And then I realize while I'm editing, like how are you supposed to know what's happening? This is just such a random scene. <laughs> but I hope that the summer is treating you well, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, because it's already half done. I want to know where you guys live and what your favorite season is and why. I know a lot of people like the fall. I feel like it doesn't last long enough here to actually fall in love with it, but that's just me. Happy Saturday. Remind me to get my SD card downstairs. Thank you. I have a feeling. Yeah, this is going to say. Yeah, I brought my ID. So it was Kev's idea about a month ago to sign up for this thing called Hidden Fat. Basically, you don't get the location until you register. Remember, we have to buy oh, yeah, the tickets. Have to register. Good reminder. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're gonna go there in a little bit, but this is like our pre-party for two. And as per usual, we'll probably make friends when we go. There's something else I was gonna tell you guys, but it fell out of my head. You know what else fell? Well, that was the worst segue ever, but my strap is hanging by a thread. I really hope I don't have to cop, cut this out because of the music in the background. Not me being so hungry that I'm eating a half-cooked patty. I'm supposed to go to church in the morning, so if you don't see me, if I don't make it to the church, I did see the Lord, but not in that way. I feel like there's crumbs on my lips the entire time I was talking, though. Fill in the blank. So we're gonna head to. Yeah, that was the most ghetto thing I've seen all day. Sir, we don't use the word ghetto and ratchet on this channel. That was just not what you we just expected. Use both, you just used both of those words. Anyway, we're gonna go to the Drake Hotel for a little bit. We're gonna hope that it picks up a little bit and then maybe we can go back. Gone. So he hasn't been to the Drake in like 10 years. I haven't been there this year. Not the Latin music. Okay, summer vibes. So we're just gonna go there and chill for a little bit and hope, because you know, the thing is, Caribbean time is not the same time. So maybe we're just a little bit too early. Not this person trying to turn left while it's still our right away though. People in Toronto die every day. But anyway, I'm gonna show you the Drake Hotel. If you haven't seen the vlog from last year when we went there, this is also the Gladstone. They have really good live music in the winter time if you wanna come. You would actually like the Gladstone. Ooh, that was an octave too high. When did you go there? Like a long time ago. How long is long? Ten years. It is good, it's all good. I told you I work for one of the top three banks. It's not one and two. He works for top two. Not giving him away. So he's rich. The man them ordered sparkling water. I said that's gonna go on his bill. Everything else is in line. Not the people down there looking at me talking to you guys. <laughs> Shishito peppers. Oh, maybe we should get those. Shrimp cocktail shooter. I don't like cold shrimp, so X me on that. The shishito peppers and the. Uh... You're paying this bill. <laughs> What's the viewfinder? Well, you can see yourself. I'm wearing glasses. These are polarized. I don't see shit, bro. Red? Yes. I would do a test to see how it is for the first one, and then maybe the second one. 
I love that energy, man. Now I'm having a great day. Uh, that's how you see, that's how you see how it rubs off on people? Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. That's why we got to keep this energy. Yeah, right? man. And you can like, go up here, make a left, and for six years prior to that. Okay, maybe it's not past my bedtime, but this is how you know I woke up early to go to the gym because I'm so tired and I think it's like 8.30. So you're beating right now. Happy Sunday. Yesterday turned out to be a lot of fun. It started off rough, <laughs> but it was a good look going to Laval. Always with the views, the cocktails were good, the service was amazing, and it was cool to meet some down to earth people as well. You know, that's what summer is about. So now we're here in Etobicoke, and you saw me struggling to see the board. I think the bus is 25 minutes. We don't have time for that because church started 25 minutes ago, so we're already late, late. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I hate going to church late. And the thing is, I've been up since 6.30. You know those days when you get up early and you're like, well, I don't have to be up, so let me just lay in bed. Now, I should have gotten up, gotten ready, because now we're here, and now Dawn is gonna be late for church too because she's coming to pick me up. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. I'm sure today we'll end off on a high note, just like yesterday did, especially since we're gonna be volunteering for Love Week. So every year Elevation Church has these events you can sign up for and we're going to sign up for the same one we did last year. I'll show you when you get there. I usually like to show you clips of service but because we're getting there late I'm kind of embarrassed to take you guys out so we'll see how I feel when I get there. But she should be here soon. Thank God she's coming for me because honestly I spent pretty pennies yesterday and I don't really want to Uber 40 minutes. I think it's about 40 minutes from here. Because Elevation Church is deep, deep, deep in Saga. Salvation, come into freedom. Come into the hope that comes through relationship with Him. And right now we're going to ask everyone to bow your heads, close your eyes. We're going to pray a prayer out loud together as a church family. For the benefit of those praying for the first time to begin a relationship with Jesus here today. Maybe some coming back to right relationship with him, rededicating their lives over to Christ. I want to celebrate with you today. We're going to pray this prayer.
are back. Shrine makes volunteering so much fun. It's just crazy while I was pressing, because that was my task, I was thinking about how it's been a year since Love Week and the headspace I was in a year ago this time. So I'm gonna take some time to reflect and unwind and just thank God for the blessings. Because it has been a difficult year, but all things considered, we're here. I don't know, there's more I could say, but again, the vlog is not really the time and place. Maybe I'll do a Patreon vlog about it tonight so I can post it for Tuesday. But before I wrap up the vlog, I'm gonna go down to the pool, but I don't think I'm gonna bring you guys. It's probably busy because it's Sunday and I don't wanna be ducking and diving, not getting people in the vlog. So I'll just go there and relax for a bit. I'm not gonna go in since my hair just got did, but let me show you this. I'm just gonna open one. I feel like this vlog is really, really long. But I think I'll actually start next week's vlog on Sunday next week. Cause we're going out to a Carolina event. Kind of like my little back to school gift in July. Dun, 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 dun. I'll wait until September to buy the matching pants to make it a suit since I don't need to be wearing a dark color just yet. But there was only one left and I was like, it's a blazer. It's always cold in the office. I've been wearing the same two blazers for the last three years. Ooh, this is tight. Me trying to get into my professional bag. I hope you guys enjoyed spending another, well, I think this has been a longer than a weekly, weekly vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. If you haven't already, like, comment below, subscribe and share. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.